with the story of Bob Knight writing you a check for the year that you played without scholarship. Uh, do you still feel a, a, a kinship towards IU even though you, you left out? I'm a Jayhawk. You're a Jayhawk. <laughs> I'm a Jayhawk. Still a Jayhawk all the way. Yeah. One of the last, you mentioned the book. The last paragraph of the book raises the question, does the end justify the means? And Bob Knight had a conversation with Dave Kindred, the writer of the book, about that. Does the end justify the means? Oh, I think so, for sure. Uh, the worst thing to do is to lose. You know, if you're in, that's your job, that's the player's job, the coach's job, and you're playing for a, a wonderful university and a fan base, and boy, when you lose, it's like a death. I mean, you feel like everybody's been let down, especially your players and yourself. So, yeah, I, I think it, uh, you know, to, to work as hard as you possibly can at anything. You know, Coach yelled at me, Coach, you guys, whatever, but you know what? The next day we came back and tried harder. Does winning justify what no. a player goes through? No, because I had a wonderful experience at Kansas under Roy Williams, who totally different in his coaching style, mm -hmm. and I learned just as much without, the, without that particular style of coach. In Ten seconds. Does it justify the ends, justify the means? I believe so. All right. Gentlemen, all, thank you so very much for traveling in and speaking with us. We appreciate it. Thanks to Con Smith, Ricky Calloway, and Winston Morgan. Just a few minutes from now, by the way, Con and Ricky will be answering your questions in an ESPN.com chat session. Log on and pose your questions beyond the brink. We have a final word in just a moment. One epic and on ESPN, a re airing of Season on the Brink, the movie right after Sports Center. If Bob Knight's accomplishments could be reduced to simple numerals and box scores, there certainly would be no questions about his legacy. But nothing is that simple. There are shades of color and nuance, questions of fairness, words such as loyalty, and images of championships and of chairs. It has been said that Bob Knight likes to get the last word, and so tonight he does. I had a friend of mine send me a thing once, and maybe you can use it somewhere. When my time on earth is gone and my activities here are past, I want they bury me upside down and my critics can kiss my ass. the possibility of some kind of incident that would create statewide fear and nation.